welcome back to my channel so we're making some soup today delicious pot of red peas with salt beef and i have some fresh beef and dumpling look a bit of yellow yum the whole works all right so stay tuned all right so everything is right here but let me start look at that pretty piece of yellow yam every time i go to the farmer's market i always let them cut off the end so i can see what it looks like and if it doesn't change right away it's a good piece of yellow yam even though um <laughs> i saw this guy at the farmer's market he was like just rub a piece of lime on it and it, it'll make it you, you win no so i don't know i guess that's jamaican thing but anyways um i usually have my gloves on when i'm cutting up yellow yarn because it just scratch your skin it 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 will make you itch all right so it's always good to have a piece of have your gloves on or make sure you wash your hands right after you cut up all right so that's breadfruit um hey the farmer's market actually have um some breadfruit pre-packaged it's already peeled just you know cut out the heart but breadfruit tastes good in red pea soup all right and i also have my um sweet potato the bun um the white sweet potato um that's also good um something sweet always tastes good in um red pea soup so i have salt beef and i have fresh beef so the the salt beef probably about a pound to um probably about a pound just to get a little saltiness um i'm just gonna scald it off which is basically just removing some of the salt because you don't want it too salty it's gonna mess up your whole pot gives a nice salt flavor but i'm just adding some hot um boiling water to it i'm gonna put it on the stove you know just boil it for probably about 10 to 15 minutes and then i'll wash it off again to get rid of some other salt all right so in case you're wondering what is the salt beef it's a cured beef that sits in a brine a salt brine basically preserves the meat um it doesn't spoil while it's sitting in there so it's an old method i think our ancestors used to when they didn't have refrigerators to preserve their meat so that's what it is just like my mom used to tell us they made jello and would push it under the river in a bottle and that's how it set because they didn't have a refrigerator all right so i have my yellow yam i'm putting a little um the sweet potato which is a white sweet potato um like i said sweet potato tastes good in any soup especially pea soup all right so i usually need my flour first i got my seasoning chopped up and we're just gonna move right into it that's the fresh beef because I have the salt beef back there. All right, so the chicken foot, our chicken feet, our chicken fingers, what my kids call them. <laughs> All right, it's optional. Um, chicken foot tastes good in soup. Um, I grew up eating it, so I'm used to it. I know it terrifies a lot of people. So if you don't want chicken foot in there, it's okay. You can you can leave them off. All right. Um, so I am adding right now. I'm using 16 ounce pack of peas about four cloves of garlic um that's about a tablespoon of the chicken bouillon and i have about a tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning my green seasoning which that recipe is down on my channel i'm using a half a block of coconut cream um that's also similar to using a coconut it's the closest thing to using a coconut coconut tastes good um in the soup red pea soup needs coconut all right so you can use the canned coconut or you can use the other coconut so like i said pack of peas about um, four sprigs of the scallion the garlic about 10 pimento seeds the the tablespoon of chicken bouillon tablespoon of all-purpose and i'm just pressuring this for probably about 20 minutes because for some reason the peas always cooks um takes longer to cook than everything else all right so but if you have your peas soaking overnight you don't have to probably pressure it as long you could probably just cook everything together but i'm just trying to speed up the process because i'm not just trying to let it sit i know a lot of people are afraid of pressure cookers i am not one of them um with the new technology and um pressure cooker <laughs> trust me pressure cooker came a long way it's not the old-fashioned pressure cooker we used to you you know see our parents use you'd see the things spinning and flying on the top so no and if you're afraid of these the electric pressure cookers are just as good i have one but it it just stopped working so i am hey old faithful right here never fails me and you can actually pick up both on my amazon storefront the link will be in my description box so as you can see i added the, the chicken foot the um the beef the salt beef and i also added some fresh beef that's probably about 
total about two pounds of beef is what I add a pound of each. All right, and I'm just adding the other half of block of the coconut cream. And like I said, if you don't have coconut cream, you can go ahead and blend up a coconut if that's what you choose to do. All right, um, I like to be on the go. So I have coconut cream, coconut milk, um, all at arm's length. Sometime I'll use a coconut, but if time permits, okay? And like I say, this will, it was pressing for probably about another 45 minutes. Um, so everything is on almost cooked. So at least when I put it and add all the other ingredients, um, everything will finish right on time. All right, so you see how I'm just testing, just making sure the, the peas, beans, which is actually it's a pack of kidney beans, but you know, Jamaica would call it peas. All right, so switching it to a larger pot. This is my soup pot. Cause you know, when soup cook, you, you drink like one or two bowls, it's like, and then some, it's, it's a day sometimes people pass through, somebody can get a bowl or, you can end up eating some for breakfast. It's like you just never know. So when I cook soup, it's always a big pot. All right, so I'm just adding some more water. And I, I did not measure the water. Just, you, you know, like I said, just season and taste as you go. Um, I'm sure this is at least, um, I would say 16 to 20 cups of water in here just on how big this pot is, all right? So just season and taste as you go. So I'm adding, I have some pumpkin, I have carrots, and the great thing about soup is you can put whatever you wanna put in there, all right? So don't let nobody say, oh, that don't go in this soup and this don't go in that soup, no. All right, so I'm putting my sweet potato, my breadfruit, my yellow yam. Sometime I'll even cut up um, green banana and put it in there too. You know, just make it nice and flavorful because nothing like some <laughs> soup from the, from the ground up, from scratch. We don't want that canned soup, all right? So this is where it's at. So you can add everything just um, right there, another scoop of my green seasoning, you know, adding some nice flavor. And then I'm adding a little bit more scallion, the, the scotch bonnet, the thyme, um, a little bit um, pimento seeds, and yeah, and then I'm just gonna add my noodles. Well, I'm actually dropping some corn in there too. You know that sweet corn that's already frozen, <laughs> that cooks pretty, it's already cooked anyways, but um, doesn't require much cooking. All right, so I have the pumpkin flavored, um, the grace soup, and I'm also gonna add some grace cock soup mix. So to not have too much noodles, um, this actually comes just like this. It's in a bottle minus the noodles. All right. Delicious everything is looking already. Oh, it, it was so good, so good, so delicious, and so flavorful. And like I said, just taste as you go. Um, just, you know, if it need a little bit more salt or a little bit, little bit more seasoning, just, just use your discretion. This is just a guide. All right, I'm gonna let this boil up for like 20 minutes and um, we'll be back. And then soup is actually cooked on, I would say, low to medium so it can simmer. You don't really want it to, you know, the pot is bubbling, but you just want it to, to slow cook. But guess what? I forgot to add my dumplings because I was over here talking. All right, so I'm going to add them now because the good thing about dumplings, spinners, they cook, they don't take long to cook. That water is already hot boiling. So I had my flour kneaded already. So usually I put the dumpling in before I add the noodles, but it's okay. Like I said, I just go with the flow. I'm not gonna say, oh no, I'm not gonna put my dumpling in because I forgot to. No, they're still going in. It's gonna be all right, okay? So just go with the flow. All right, and um, while you're here and everything I simmer and everything is cooking and looking good and delicious before you grab that bowl, make sure you hit that like button that on the subscribe button that notification bell and go over to my other platforms i'm on instagram at the rainer's kitchen facebook tiktok pinterest twitter and also follow me on amazon 
at the um the Rainer's kitchen i'll drop all of those links in the description box all right and drop a comment and don't forget to share um with your friends and your family and once you try these recipes tell me how you like them all right thanks again for watching as always and i will see you on the next video enjoy bye bye